Hey guys, Alec here from Build Nerd. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the two Elegoo Saturn different build plates. Now, originally in their pre-orders, they shipped this build plate that's on the left, and it was kind of brittle and had a lot of chips when people got it in the mail. Now, a lot of people posted about this on various forums, and Elegoo took notice, and they changed the material that their build plates are made out of. Uh, I don't know what it is now, or what it is back then. Maybe it was aluminum and now it's steel, but it's definitely a different material. And the newer one that's on the right is a lot stronger than the other one. I've noticed that it doesn't scratch as easily, and it doesn't... Uh, it's definitely just a stronger material, and it's made a lot better and higher quality. Now, after mine was slightly damaged, I requested a new one from Elgu, and they were gracious enough to send it to me. So, on the right hand side, you can see the new one. On the left is the older one. And after it was scratched, it kind of damaged some of my FEP screens, and I had to change them out. Uh, now, once I put the Wham Bam Flex Plate on there, uh, I no longer had those issues anymore, and as you can see, it's still on there, and I plan to get one for the larger one as well. And that'll be really nice to have. Those flex plates just make it a million times easier getting the print off of the build plate, and you don't have to use a razor or anything like that to get it off. It just comes right off with flexing it. As far as overall print quality, uh, it really seems to be about the same. I don't really notice any difference. The major differences were just in the overall hardness of the two different build plates and resistance to scratching and other things like that. So hopefully all Elegoo Saturns that are shipped currently with this have the new build plates. They are slightly larger as well, just uh, one or two millimeters on both sides, which is nice as well. I don't know if they'll have to change the parameters in some of the print settings, really just so you can make use of the extra couple millimeters on the build plate. At least that would be really nice just when you're printing something that is just about the size of the build plate, every millimeter counts. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more like it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And until next time, build your nerddom.